watercolor techniques. We are creating these watercolor technique pages to use for animal collages inspired by Eric Carle's The Mixed Up Chameleon. Alright, let's make sure we have everything. We need our four sheets of watercolor paper, a little cup of water, some salt, our watercolors with our watercolor brush, a paper towel, and our piece of plastic wrap. So we're going to start with our wet on dry technique because we want to put our first layer of paint down and let it dry. So choose a color. Um, first wet your brush before putting it into the paint. So wet your brush and then put it onto the paint color of your choice and fill in your piece of paper. So finish painting in your whole piece of paper with whatever colors you would like. And then we are going to set that piece of paper aside to let it dry completely. So after your wet on dry paper is completely dry, then um, you can pretty much just paint any designs that you would like onto your dry paint. So here I am just experimenting with some lines and some dots. And you can paint anything you like. Since we're going to be using these to make animals, here's a couple of ways that you can make some animal textures. Here's how you can make some fur, and you can do this with any colors. And here's how you can make some stripes. And also some fish scales. So next we're going to do the wet on wet technique. This just means that we are putting wet paint down on the paper and we are going to add more wet paint to it before it dries. Um, so I would start putting one color down and while it's still wet, adding another color to that first color. And if you notice, I am using um, smaller spots of my paper for this because you really want to make sure that your paint stays wet. And I felt that it was easier to make sure that my paint stayed wet by um, splitting my paper up. So wet on wet often gives like a um, an expanding look to the paint. So it moves and it gets bigger when wet on wet is put together. So there you could see that the paint really begins to expand. So now we're going to do the salt technique. Um, just like we did on the wet on wet, we are going to work on sections of our paper because for the salt technique, we also really want to make sure our paint is still wet. So here I am sprinkling just a little bit of salt onto my wet paint. So now I'm going to do this to the whole page. After you fill up your whole page, you're going to put that to the side because we want to let this dry completely also before we scrape some of that salt off. So once our salt technique paper is completely dry, we are going to go over the garbage can. I'm working at my workspace because this is where my camera is, but you need to go over your garbage can to do this, and you're just going to use your fingers to scrape all of that salt off. So scrape off as much salt as you can. There might be a little bit left over um, stuck to the paper, but that's okay. But try to scrape as much as you can off to re reveal the cool design that it leaves.
So for the plastic wrap technique, we're first going to start by putting quite a bit of water on our brush and then putting that onto our paper. And we're going to fill up the whole page with paint, but we want to make sure that our paper is wet first. So now you want to fill up your whole page with paint. And I'm adding a couple of layers to make sure that it's wet. And then you put your plastic wrap right on top of it and just poke it down like that with your fingers. I let it dry for just about a minute or so and then I peeled it up. So here are all the techniques. We have wet on wet, wet on dry, the salt technique, and the plastic wrap. 